In topology, the long line is a topological space somewhat similar to the real line, but in a certain way, longer. It behaves locally just like the real line, but has different large-scale properties. Therefore, it serves as one of the basic counterexamples of topology. Intuitively, the usual real number line consists of a countable number of line segments 0, 1, laid end to end, whereas the long line is constructed from an uncountable number of such segments. Definition the closed long ray L is defined as the Cartesian product of the first uncountable ordinal omega 1 with a half open interval 0, 1. Equipped with the order topology that arises from the lexicographical order on omega 1 times 0, 1. The open long ray is obtained from the closed long ray by removing the smallest element. The long line is obtained by putting together a long ray in each direction. More rigorously, it can be defined as the order topology on the disjoint union of the reversed open long ray and the closed long ray, totally ordered by letting the points of the latter be greater than the points of the former. Alternatively, take two copies of the open long ray and identify the open interval 0 times of the one with the same interval of the other but reversing the interval, that is, identify the point of the one with the point of the other, and define the long line line to be the topological space obtained by gluing the two open long rays along the open interval identified between the two. Intuitively, the closed long ray is like a real half line, except that it is much longer in one direction. We say that it is long at one end and closed at the other. The open long ray is like the real line except that it is much longer in one direction. We say that it is long at one end and short at the other. The long line is longer than the real lines in both directions. We say that it is long in both directions. However, many authors speak of the long line, where we have spoken of the long ray, and there is much confusion between the various long spaces. In many uses or counterexamples, however, the distinction is unessential, because the important part is the long end of the line, and it doesn't matter what happens at the other end. A related space, the extended long ray, L asterisk is obtained as the one-point compactification of L by adjoining an additional element to the right end of L. One can similarly define the extended long line by adding two elements to the long line, one at each end. Properties the closed long ray L equals omega 1 times 0, 1 consists of an uncountable number of copies of 0, 1 pasted together, end to end. Compare this with the fact that for any countable ordinal alpha, pasting together alpha copies of 0, 1 gives a space which is still homeomorphic to 0, 1. The resulting space would no longer be locally homeomorphic to R. Every increasing sequence in L converges to a limit in L. This is a consequence of the fact that the elements of omega-1 are the countable ordinals. The supremum of every countable family of countable ordinals is a countable ordinal, and every increasing and bounded sequence of real numbers converges. Consequently, there can be no strictly increasing function LR. As order topologies, the long rays and lines are normal Hausdorff spaces. All of them have the same cardinality as the real line, yet they're much longer. All of them are locally compact. None of them is metrizable. This can be seen as the long ray is sequentially compact but not compact, or even Lindelof. The long line or ray is not paracompact. It is path-connected, locally path-connected and simply connected but not contractible. It is a one-dimensional topological manifold, with boundary in the case of the closed ray. It is first countable but not second countable and not separable. So authors who require the latter properties in their manifolds do not call the long line a manifold. The long line or ray can be equipped with the structure of a differentiable manifold. However, contrary to the topological structure which is unique, the differentiable structure is not unique. In fact, for each natural number k there exist infinitely many c k plus 1 or c infinity structures on the long line or ray inducing any given c k structure on it. 
This is in sharp contrast with the situation for ordinary manifolds, where a CK structure uniquely determines a C infinity structure as soon as K1. It makes sense to consider all the long spaces at once because every connected one-dimensional topological manifold possibly with boundary is homeomorphic to either the circle, the closed interval, the open interval, the half-open interval, the closed long ray, the open long ray, or the long line. The long line or ray can even be equipped with the structure of a analytic manifold. However, this is much more difficult than for the differentiable case one-dimensional analytic manifolds, which is more difficult than for differentiable manifolds. Again, any given C-infinity structure can be extended in infinitely many ways to different C-omega structures. The long line or ray cannot be equipped with a Riemannian metric that induces its topology. The reason is that Riemannian manifolds, even without the assumption of paracompactness, can be shown to be metrizable. The extended long ray L asterisk is compact. It is the one-point compactification of the closed long ray L, but it is also its stone-check compactification. Because any continuous function from the long ray to the real line is eventually constant, L asterisk is not a manifold and is not first countable. P adic analog. There exists a P adic analog of the long line, which is due to George Bergman. This space is constructed as the increasing union of an uncountable directed set of copies x gamma of the ring of P adic integers, indexed by a count of L ordinal gamma. Define a map from x delta to x gamma whenever delta less than gamma as follows. If gamma is a success epsilon plus 1 then the map from x epsilon to x gamma is just multiplication by p. For other delta the map from x delta to x gamma is the composition of the map from x delta to x epsilon and the map from x epsilon to x gamma. If gamma is a limit ordinal then the direct limit of the sets x delta for delta less than gamma is a countable union of p-adic balls, so can be embedded in x gamma, as x gamma with a point removed is also a countable union of p-adic balls. This defines compatible embeddings of x delta and toto x gamma for all delta less than gamma. This space is not compact, but the union of any countable set of compact subspaces has compact closure. Higher dimensions. Some examples of non-paracompact manifolds in higher dimensions include the proof of manifold. Products of any non-paracompact manifold with any non-empty manifold, the bowl of long radius, and so on. The bagpipe theorem shows that there are two one-isomorphism classes of non-paracompact surfaces. There are no complex analogues of the long line as every Riemann surface is paracompact. But Calabi and Rosen-Licht gave an example of a non-paracompact complex manifold of complex dimension 2.